patience. That's another thing that you need, Mr. Renard. What are you doing? Give me the business? <laughs> what are you doing? Giving me the business? We sell booze here, mister. We don't just rent space. Is that a fact? That's a fact, buddy. How would you like to take a flying jump at the moon? We get all kinds. <laughs> this is a summer man. A friendless man, a lonely man, a grasping, compulsive, nervous man. And this little old man is just what Mr. Renard is waiting for. I think I know what it is you need. Take it. Bus ticket. That's right. Bus ticket to Scranton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Coal mines. <laughs> That's what's in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Nice, lovely, beautiful gold mines. Telephone. Old manager of mine, been looking for me for three weeks. Got me a job. Coaching job. Minor league club in Scranton. Oh. Scranton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> he wants me to take a bus there. How about that? How'd you know? How'd you know about it? Coincidence, maybe. Coincidence. Oh, good fortune. <laughs> yeah, he's looking at you now. You don't want to help him? <laughs> Something for you, sir? Why, you look scared. Shoelaces. What do I need? You tell me, old man. What do I need now? Huh? It's late. What do I need? <laughs> He's like, you better tell me before I rough you up. Scissors? He needs scissors? S scissors? Uh, they're what you need. They really are. Take them. Why? What am I going to take scissors for? Oh, shoot. Use the scissors. <laughs> That's why you're going to need scissors, because you're about to hang. Uh-huh. <laughs> he gonna go see that old man again and be like, what else I need? It's a nice pair of scissors I got from you tonight. Hmm. They saved my hide. He wants more, he's being greedy. So I'm a machine, crystal ball. You got a partner now. Oh no. What you mean a partner? I don't need a partner. I don't need anything. A pen now? A pen? This is a gag or something? A leaky pen. A leaky pen. I'm supposed to need a leaky <laughs> pen, is that it? A pen that drips all over the... What is going on with this dude? He creepy. Really wild. He creepy. But look, he dropped right alongside of a horse's name. You're all right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he pissed. The pen ain't working no more. No more leakage. He's greedy. It's, it's not gonna go over well with him. He's greedy. Okay. What's next then? <laughs> See? Nothing is next. Mm. But Doc, I want to tell you something about me. I've been getting the dirty end of the stick ever since I was four years old. I feel sorry for you. I don't want you to go to that kind of trouble. I just want you to keep supplying me with what I need. What do you see? A prick in front of me. That's what I see. A greedy sum of my bitch. Oh, please, please don't. Shoes. Shoes? What are shoes gonna do for this selfish prick? His shoes are too tight. They're what I need, aren't they? Yeah, I, I, I put them on and then, then I, I, I walk someplace. Well, what's with it, old man? Patience. That's another thing that you need, Mr. Renard. What are you doing? Give me the business? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Giving me the business? 
giving me the business. But I'll tell you something. They happen to be what I need. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> he got him hit. That's what I need. What I saw in your eyes at that bar was death. My death. Oh. You were going to kill me. So what was needed? Slippery shoes. No, he did not. That's what was needed. <laughs> did anybody see it? Did you see it? Hit and run. That's what it was. This is what you need. The calm. It's yours. Because you look a mess. <laughs> Give her the comb too. Will you please hold it, folks? I'd like to take your picture. Our picture's going to be in the paper. Don't <laughs> use that comb. Thanks, folks. <laughs> Colm hooked you up. Street scene. Night. Traffic accident. Victim named Fred Renard. Fred Renard who took all that was needed in the Twilight Zone. Type of shit. Alright you guys, that was my reaction to Twilight Zone. Episode 12 titled What You Need. I didn't understand that episode at all. No, so. Uh, I guess this older guy, salesman, was walking around town and giving people things that he felt they needed. And some guy, some sour puss of a guy, caught on to his skills and was like, nah, nah, you're going to help me. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? And he kept just milking it, overdoing it, not being satisfied, not being content. Turns out the salesman, uh, when he first met the guy in the bar, he knew that in the future, I guess, that guy was going to try to hurt him, try to kill him, as he put it, so <laughs> he fixed it so that he had on slippery shoes so that he would get hit by a car and he wouldn't be able to hurt him. Trippy, weird, as usual. Twilight Zone does not disappoint. What the hell? Got this older guy walking around who's a salesman and he can just take one look at you and know what you need and it can be for any type of thing. He helped somebody by giving them a comb and later on they were going to have their picture taken. He helped this guy by getting him, I guess, a couple of bus tickets to a job that he was ultimately had waiting for him in Scranton, Pennsylvania, I think. All types of fuckery going on in the Twilight Zone universe. How did that guy have those skills? How did he know what you needed? They don't explain that. I notice they don't do a lot of explaining. They just have you thrown into a story of pure craziness. But yeah, I enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. What was your favorite moment? My dog is growling. And I'll see you guys in the next video.